President Trump has announced that he intends to impose tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. This would have serious negative consequences for American workers and the American economy. But what are tariffs? A tariff is a tax on goods imported from abroad. But one of the biggest misconceptions about tariffs is that they're a way to tax other countries. The truth is, a tariff is paid for by American consumers when they go buy imported products. Products made in the United States may see an increase in prices as well, because if they are competing products, you'll see a rise across the board to meet a new market value. And when it comes to American workers, steel using industries employ 17 million Americans in sectors ranging from automotive manufacturing to construction. An increase in the price of imported steel and aluminum would put these jobs at risk. We've seen this happen in the recent past. Steel tariffs imposed in 2002 cost 200,000 hardworking Americans their jobs. It is not in the interest of the U.S. economy or the forgotten men and women of America to restrict vital imports like steel and aluminum. The President of the United States has a responsibility to protect all American workers rather than a select few. Therefore, the administration should refrain from imposing tariffs on steel and aluminum.